Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the very last video in this entire series. Those of you who have made it this far should feel extremely proud of yourselves. You have created a full stack web application. That is phenomenal. The last thing to add to your application is the custom functionality. This is going to be different for each of you and it should fit in with the theme of your application. So I can't really show you exactly what it's going to be like. I've kind of talked about this a little bit in the past. But here are a few examples. This is not by any means an exhaustive list. You can use something like this. You can make your own entirely different. Whatever doesn't matter. Just make sure you have some sort of a custom functionality. So my Yelp Comics application might have the functionality for users to create a reading list of comic books that they want to read. If you are doing a application for recipes, you might add the ability to build a shopping list of ingredients by adding them to your cart. If you are building a application about indie bands, you might want to allow users to listen to their music, maybe in an embedded Spotify player, something like that. You would use the Spotify API for that, by the way. Um, let's say that you had an app devoted to different weapons in a video game. Um, you might want to compare the stats of two of the weapons side by side. Something like that. Whatever it is, it should be kind of specific to your topic, the topic of your application. And once you've done that, please share your final applications. If you're in YouTube, just paste the Heroku links as a comment below. If you're in my class, not only share them with me as part of Blackboard, but please share them with those around you. Share them with your classmates, share them with your other professors. Show off this freaking awesome thing that you made. It doesn't matter if it's imperfect. In fact, I completely expect it to be very rough around the edges. Just looking at this page, this is not perfect. I, d I didn't format my dates very well. It's not very helpful for the users to do that. The voting is not clear what this even is. It's kind of awkward and ugly sitting down there. These didn't line up perfectly. The CSS is a little bit off. It's not anywhere close to perfect, but this is above and beyond 99.9% .9 of the people around you. Very, very few people ever go about the process of creating a full stack web application so the fact that you did it and you were able to get this done is phenomenal. Share this with people. The act of actually sharing something that you created with the world is very rewarding. and will be extremely helpful in your developer journey. This is something that you should sing and shout from the hilltops that you have done this. This is awesome. Going forward, I highly suggest you create another application sometime in the next few weeks. Take some time off. Don't, don't jump right into it, especially if you're in college. Take some time. But go ahead and create something else. Create a new one. Even if it's not quite as in-depth as this one we made together, go ahead and go through the process from scratch of creating a new one. You'll likely need to refer back to the video several times, and that's normal. That's perfectly fine, but I can guarantee you you'll do it a lot faster this time, especially since you'll still have this code, your code, that you can refer back to. All of the code that you made, you'll be able to refer back to that if you can't remember, and it'll make it faster and easier on you. And after doing this a couple times, you won't even need the videos anymore. You'll have internalized those skills. Every once in a while, you'll have to stop and Google something or look at the documentation to remember the syntax for the EJS templates or something like that. But the vast majority of it, you'll have, be able to just kind of do on your own without having to refer to this stuff. And that is it. I'm going to make one more video for the people in my class that's going to talk, go over the rubric for the final project, but I'm not going to put that on YouTube because y'all aren't in my class. So for everyone else, so long and thanks for all the fish. Mm -hmm.